Many confuse frugal with cheap, the latter being the one you want to avoid. Cheap is about going to a store and purchasing the lowest price object purely for the sake of saving money, even if the quality is rubbish. Frugal, however, defines someone who has taken the time to assess what they truly need and only spends on that. Frugal is what you want to be. By adopting the following steps, not only will you be saving money in areas where you're wasting money, but you will also be able to live a far more fulfilling life. Why? Because you'll have enough money saved up for people, things, and places that truly bring joy to your life. Welcome to Financial Fluence. In this video, I'll teach you how to save money without sacrificing happiness. Number one, start budgeting. The key to your financial success is setting up and following a budget. Budgeting may not always be enjoyable, but it is an important aspect of the puzzle. You may prioritize what matters and ruthlessly eliminate what doesn't fit within your budget. Remember that treating yourself once in a while is perfectly fine. You're earning money to enjoy, not to save money for the sake of living. Spend a little of your hard-earned money on yourself now and again. Number two, stretch your food budget. How much money may be wasted on food purchases is astonishing. Despite the fact that it is a requirement, many people use this as justification to keep wasting money. In fact, a 2015 survey found that Americans spent more on dining out than they did on fresh produce. Since then, this statistic has been climbing exponentially. Here are some suggestions for how to cut costs on food. You should first schedule your meals in advance. Look in your pantry, cabinets, and even your freezer to find ingredients you can use. Then, make a list of the meals you'll eat this week using those ingredients, along with seasonal fruits and vegetables. And for the carnivores among you, inexpensive cuts of meat. You can also start a little garden in your kitchen. Number three, eliminate monthly subscriptions. Do you really require subscriptions to Netflix, Disney+, Amazon Prime, and Hulu at the same time? My heart shouts yes, but my intellect replies no. Heart, I'm sorry, but not this time. In fact, I believe monthly subscriptions to be somewhat risky. Spend some time considering your monthly subscriptions and consider the following. Is this subscription really necessary? Select the most crucial ones and keep an eye on them. Once you begin to realize that you're losing interest in that subscription, cancel it right away. Number four, buy used items. Your new closest friend in town is a thrift store. Actually, you can find some incredible designer goods there for more than half the cost. Cars are the same way. All you truly need is something that gets you from point A to point B and is functional. Number five, shop around for the best insurance. Insurance can cost a lot of money. However, a lack of appropriate insurance may drastically jeopardize your financial goals. Consider getting insurance for your health, your car, and your home to protect your money in case of a loss. Never take the first item that is offered to you. Number six, purchase at the right time. Being aware of shifting costs is a wise method for shopping. For example, fitness equipment is often cheaper in January and home prices tend to be higher in the summer. The weeks before Black Friday are great times to buy electronics. If you have something in mind that you truly wanna buy, put it on your wish list and wait for the proper opportunity. You can also save coupons to further reduce the cost of the things you purchase. Many businesses and stores provide membership cards on which you may accumulate points with each purchase. When you reach a particular number of points, a number of purchases will be discounted or completely free. Number seven, sell things you don't need. Humans are emotional creatures. We save things that we don't need but have sentimental value. While the concept is appealing, you may be sacrificing some cash. Turn your unwanted items into cash by selling them on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and Poshmark. This is a low effort technique to increase your income. Number eight, evaluate your method of transportation. Some may consider owning a car to be a liability as inflation rises and gas prices climb. Many households own two or more cars. I recommend that you only drive one car, unless absolutely required. This not only benefits the environment, but also saves you a lot of money. And before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Let's return to the video now. 
Number nine, find free entertainment. This, in my humble view, can help you live a more fulfilling life. Aside from the myriad of internet streaming subscriptions, there are several alternatives for people to spend their money on entertainment. Instead of going out for a drink, why not host a nice barbecue with your pals in your own backyard? After all, you can't place a premium on such delightful and fun memories. Number 10. Travel in the off-season In line with the idea of fulfillment, traveling with loved ones is a great way to make memories. Travel off-season when all prices are lower. Airfares, accommodations, and even tourist attraction tickets. But the best aspect, in my opinion, is not having to deal with crowds. Number 11. Do it yourself. Doing things yourself is not only cheap, but also extremely satisfying. We live in the technological golden age where you can Google anything and learn so much at the drop of a hat. Take advantage of this. When you really need someone to help you, you'll have enough money saved up to hire the best. Number 12. Rent. Don't own. The easiest way to ensure you're saving money is to rent these goods rather than buy them. Most of these luxury items are one-time purchases for special events. Designer clothing, jewelry, and purses are available for rent. You can even get a car rental. Did you know that many celebrities and reality TV personalities rent practically everything they flaunt? Their homes, cars, and even their clothing. Number 13. Repurpose Instead of going out to add to your already overflowing collection, consider shopping in your own wardrobe. There are definitely some garments and shoes in the back of your wardrobe that are demanding to be worn again. So before your next shopping excursion, have a look in your closet. I'm confident you'll find some great deals there. Number 14. Plan your days the same way planning your food shopping will help you save money, so will planning everything else. If you plan your days in advance, you won't be tempted by impulse shopping trips, which will burn a hole in your pocket. On the other hand, if you know there's a birthday coming up, planning ahead and budgeting for the shopping trip will save you not only time, but also money. Number 15. Make gifts. Instead of buying them, even if you're not the most artistic, the homemade presents you give are quite valuable. It demonstrates how much you care about the other person. You may discover a lot of DIY gift ideas online. If you are an artist, you can utilize this to develop your talents. Your family will realize how talented you are as well as how much you adore them. Number 16. Sun Dry Clothes This is just another method to help Mother Earth and your wallet. There's no need to pay exorbitant electricity costs incurred by your dryer. Use the fact that you live in a leafy but dry, bright area to your advantage. Purchase a clothes rack and hang your clothes to dry for free in no time. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.